Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who regrets adding UFC Krylov vs. Span to every video he's made over the course of the last fucking week. Uh, I am here to talk about the main event for tonight, Brendan Allen vs. Andre Muniz. This was an excellent performance for Brendan Allen. He took over this fight. He won by submission, which is the last thing I expected. I thought he'd win by TKO first, submission, I mean decision, and then submission last, even though he's primarily a submission artist. But he ended up just taking over this fight completely to the point where he asserted his submission game in the end, his, his overall grappling by initiating the takedown, getting it to the floor, cutting through his guard immediately, and then started threatening with arm triangles, got the mount, and then worked them from worked them over, and worked his back. It was very methodical but thorough, and it was clear over the course of the last sixth of the fight, the last half of the third round, that Brendan Allen was the better jujitsu guy at that point. I'm not saying overall or whatever. I still think Andre Muniz is the more dangerous submission artist. But Brendan Allen was uh, the uh, this was a favorable matchup for him. That that was a question coming into this: is would his jujitsu be favorable against Andre Muniz, or would it work against him, where he's just outgunned, like Pete Sell versus Travis Luter? That's always a jujitsu matchup I think about, where the better guy won because he had the better pedigree. And I'm not even saying that's the case, but I do think that's the case as far as submission prowess. I do think the better submission artist is Andre Muniz, and I'll, I will always think that moving forward. But Brendan Allen is the better fighter, and Brendan Allen got it done with a complete performance. And the fact that he got it done in the 15th minute of this fight, the, the final minute of this main event, a rare three-round main event, it was a, a real testament to everything you want as a fighter. Grit, durability, because he was hit and hurt throughout that fight. And uh, speaking of which, Andre Muniz had a moment where he kind of knocked Brendan Allen down. Brendan Allen slipped, and then they slapped hands. And it occurred to me to mention this in a video because it's something I always think about. If you're a fighter and you ever knock somebody down, but you know you didn't knock him down legitimately and he knows that, but it's still plausible that somebody else might not know that, then act like you knocked him down and swarm him. You have to protect yourself, yes, but you have to swarm him. Seize that moment, and it will pay off on the scorecard. You have to protect yourself, yes. You don't want to be too stupid and just charge in recklessly, but you have to act like you smell blood, and the judges will see blood. Anyway, I uh, think that was still an excellent main event. The fact that it ended in the final minute was uh, just a cherry on top. And Brendan Allen got a gigantic victory. This was uh, really uh, an eye-opener in a lot of ways. And congratulations if you bet on Brendan Allen to win, especially by submission. But overall, he was a significant underdog and he proved everybody wrong. I think he's reshuffled things and uh, it won't be long before he's got a ranking. So uh, if he's not ranked already, I don't fucking know. But I don't think he was ranked. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.